All right, thank you very much, Tony. Rhode Island's governor, the head of the state police, National Grid, and other public safety officials are all working out of the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency. Governor Raimondo just toured the facility a short time ago, and Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan was there. She joins us now with more on what they learned live in Cranston. Yeah, we're right outside the EMA now in Cranston here. You can see the snow actually coming down. It's coming down pretty good. We just have a few inches out here right now, but two hours from now, Governor Gina Raimondo is asking for all drivers to be off the roads and to be at home. She wants drivers uh, off the roads as the snow starts to accumulate. Now, she was standing alongside All other state leaders giving an update at, during a news conference at 4.30 this afternoon. Now, we also got a tour of the EMA showing us how all the agencies are working together and sharing information to help everyone get through this storm safely. Governor Raimondo ordered a statewide travel ban at midnight and it goes until further notice. Now, Colonel Stephen O'Donnell says some bridges will likely close as well as including the Jamestown, Newport and Mount Hope Bridge. Now, if drivers are out on the roads after midnight, they could be arrested. State police say it's an issue of safety and making sure plows can do their job. Now, all leaders suggest to be prepared and to stay inside for the next few days as they do their job. At some point, tomorrow morning, and we'll have more updates as we go, you may see a lull in the snowfall. Stay in your house, because the way the storm is going to come through, there'll be a band of snow, and then it'll ease up, and then it's going to, you know, intensify again. So we're asking people, stay off the roads and stay in your house until you hear otherwise. And National Grid also was here this evening, and they say that they have crews stationed throughout the state. So if you lose power, they mentioned to just give them a call, 1-800-465-1212. They were saying the most likely spots to lose power throughout the storm would probably be South County, where those winds could be gusting to 60 miles an hour. Those sustained winds combined with the snow can really make a problem for power lines, but we can even notice out here right now that the winds are starting to pick up somewhat. So again, uh, within two hours, the governor urging everyone to get off the roads, to stay inside, just be prepared and be patient, be patient and be willing to stay inside for a few days while everyone else here on the roads does their job. For now, we're reporting live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.